Goalkeepers have to obtain a very high standard of controlling the ball with their feet. This may be the most overlooked aspect of the game. In the modern game, goalkeepers need to be as good with their hands as with their feet. Especially that 70 to 80% of goalkeeping is played with their feet. So in this video, I'll show you key aspects of the game you must know to be a better goalkeeper and give you ball control drills to help you improve your ball control. Goalkeepers should distribute the ball to a teammate whether that's far or close precisely, having a pass completion rate of around 75%. Edison in the 21-22 season got a pass completion percentage of 89% with the graph clearly showing his completion rate reducing the longer the range the passes get. A reoccurring scenario is when a player has no options and passes the ball back to the goalkeeper. From there you should go out wide away from the goal frame to receive a pass from the defender. You don't want to stay in front of the goal face in case of a bobbly surface or a terrible pass from the defender. If the attacker isn't chasing you, take a touch, opening up your body to switch the play. However, if the attacker is chasing you, sometimes you need to play the ball across first time. If the pass is awful, and you have to take a touch to ensure you are quick with the ball. You can also be annoying to the attacker by passing the ball back to the defender as this would make them lose all possible momentum. However, be careful with this one. The riskiest thing you can do is to do a fake pass so that the attacker goes the other way from the ball. If you are confident to take a touch away in front of the attacker, then try to take a touch against their run or make an angle for yourself to play the ball. But be aware, not every pass will be good, so you must concentrate on the ball so that it doesn't bounce off your foot in the wrong area. The other scenario is if your defender passes the ball to you in the box. You should most likely be stood on the other side of the goal to give you time to receive the ball and find your options. However, remember, during this entire sequence, you must communicate with your teammates so they know where you are, if you are available to receive the ball, if you don't want the ball and more. As a goalkeeper, you don't want to hold the ball near your feet for too long, otherwise mistakes can happen. Sometimes you need to hit the ball away first time. That means if the ball is played and the attacker is chasing you, you must hit the ball far and into good attacking areas or attempt to find a player who is free. Here are two drills you can do to improve your ball control as a goalkeeper. The first drill, you'd pass the ball against the wall, one touch or two touch and do it continuously for a certain amount of time. You can also add a touch to the right or to the left to work on your change in direction. This drill works in your passing and ball control. The second drill, you'd start in the centre of the goal whilst two players are on the edge of the 18 yard box off centre. You'd go to the appropriate position to receive the pass and call for the ball. Whilst the ball is played, the defender would make an option for you to pass and the attacker will chase you down, giving you little time to work with. There, you would decide whether you have enough time to take a touch and switch the play or to pass the ball back to the defender whilst getting into the habit of communicating after every pass. This is a match realistic drill, helping you to work on the most fundamental part of goalkeeping. So if you've got to this bit in the video, comment down below save and goodbye.